In this problem, we have a complex number and we're going to express it in what's called polar form. So basically we have to write it like this. This is equal to a number which we'll call r. This is called the modulus of the complex number times the cosine of theta. Theta is called the argument plus i sine theta. All right, and another way to write this, by the way, uh, would be an equivalent way would be, write it over here, would be r cis theta, where cis theta takes the place of cosine theta plus i sine theta. And yet another way would be to write it as r e to the i theta, where it means the same thing as cis. So the way I do these is I always uh, find uh, r first. So r here, is basically the square root of three squared plus three squared. So if you have a complex number like this, r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So here they're both three, so it's just the square root of three squared plus three squared. So this is equal to the square root of nine plus nine. And we're gonna have to simplify this so I'm gonna write it like this. Nine plus nine is basically two times nine. So I'm gonna write it like this. And then watch this, we're gonna break it up as follows. Square root of two, square root of nine. And then the square root of nine is three. So this will be three square root of two. So after I find r, I always go back and then I plug it back into this. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is three plus three i is equal to r, which is three root two, parentheses, cosine theta, plus i sine theta. And again, you know, different people do it different ways. Um, you could do it another way, you can use tangent. I like to do this because it really helps me think about like, you know, the, the location of the angle and of the complex number. So you find your r, plug it back in, and let's get rid of this r by dividing both sides by so if we divide both sides by three root two, we should divide each term by three root two, so it'll be one over the square root of two plus uh, one over the square root of two times i, I'm gonna write it like that, it's this over this, right, the threes cancel, equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. And here's the part I think is cool. So now you can use you know, the definition of equality for complex numbers, right? Two complex numbers are equal uh, only when their um, real parts and imaginary parts are equal, right? So that would mean that the cosine of theta is equal to this. And the sine of theta is equal to this. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, with this fraction, this is really, you know, you can multiply this by square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over square root of 2, and maybe this will seem more familiar, this is the square root of 2 over 2, maybe this is how you have it memorized, maybe. This is a very familiar angle, it's pi over 4, right, so the angle that solves both of these equations, the system of equations, is pi over 4, so that's our argument, and that makes sense, right, if you look at 3 plus 3i, it should be like right here somewhere, right, 3 plus 3i. So yeah, it looks, to me, it looks to me like it's 45 degrees, which is pi over four. So we did it, we've got, we've got it. So let's write our final answer down. Good stuff, so this is three plus three i is equal to r, which I forgot what that was. I don't have this written down. It's three squared of two. So this is three squared of two. And then uh, we had uh, parentheses cosine pi over four Oops, whoops, whoops, not theta. Theta is pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. So this is this is one way to write the answer, right? This would be the polar or trig form of the complex number. Another way would be 3 root 2 cis pi over 4, cosine i sine. That's another answer, so both of these are okay. And an, even another way would be 3 square root of 2 e to the uh, i times pi over 4. So this would be another way to write the answer. So three different ways to write the answer. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful. Good luck.